If you're familiar with the avatar templates, you've already encountered a UV map. The Second Life clothing templates are UV templates. Let's be honest though, the avatar template is atrocious. The crotch bleeds, the ankles smear, the seams don't line up across the top template because the back's smaller than the front, the top and bottom are different sizes across, which makes jackets a nightmare, the front and back change location on every body section, Adam is made from Eve, so menswear is even more difficult to comprehend, and that's just to name a few. So when making clothes for Second Life, you're presented with a rather unusual hurdle. You're not just learning how to texture or how to paint something that's believable. You're learning how to work with one of the worst UV layouts they could possibly offer an average Second Life hobbyist. On top of learning basic texturing skills, which can be overwhelming on its own, you also have to figure out a way to compensate for the very annoying quirks the templates suffer from. If you're relatively new to making clothes or skins, you might turn to a more experienced content creator with what you believe is a simple question. Their reply is often, just keep at it, wear the template, trial and error, seems are difficult. This can be discouraging, but it shouldn't be. The truth is they're not hiding any secrets from you. There really isn't a magical answer, and yes, you should run around in a template suit, even when you're experienced. So that advice is fantastic advice, but this little known tool is mind-blowing. To quote the maker, a mapping channel is basically UV data. It's how a 2D texture gets translated onto the geometry of a 3D model. If you have access to one of the more fully featured 3D software packages, chances are good it supports multiple mapping channels or UV layouts. Don't like the way something's mapped? Remap it in another channel. Seams getting you down? Remap the seams in another channel. What Multichan Hacks does is give Photoshop the ability to translate a texture to and from any single combination of the channels. You can tell Multichan Hacks to take a side shot of the face and translate it to the master head template or whatever channel you choose. It's a 3D feature within a 2D program. How cool is that? For anyone who's ever complained about wanting a different layout to texture, this is basically the answer to your prayers. Want to make a suit jacket? Easy. How about a side lacing corset? Simple. How about some seamless socks? Done in, oh, five minutes? All you need is the multi chan hex filter and the files, and you can make something respectable in less than half the time it would take you to manually match it up pixel by pixel. Before we can get started, there's a few things I should mention. Multichan Hacks is a 32-bit Photoshop filter, so it won't be available from the Filters menu if you choose to run a 64-bit executable of Photoshop. Multichan Hacks is also limited to Windows, so Mac and Linux users are out of the loop. The Multichan Hacks filter works with any program capable of loading the 8BF filter format, so that means a handful of programs other than Photoshop should be able to make good use of it. PaintShop Pro is one of them, and GIMP can too with the help of PSPI, which is a GIMP plugin that runs third-party Photoshop filters such as this one. For this tutorial though, I'll be using Photoshop CS4. If you want to follow along, you'll need to grab a few things. The download links are in the details below. You will need a set of UV templates, the Multichan Hacks filter, the Multichan Hacks files, and Flaming Pairs Solidify filter. Chip Midnight's templates are the official templates, and they're available for download on the Second Life website. Robin Wood offers an alternative to these on her website. I prefer using Robin's, but it really doesn't matter which templates you choose. Obviously, you will need the awesome Multichan Hacks filter by Abu Nasu, which is available on his TechSop wiki, as well as the files that control the multiple UV channels. There is a repository of different files to choose from here. Some files, such as Mucho 23 are overwhelmingly packed with different UV layouts. Others just address specific areas of the template. For the bulk of this walkthrough, I'll stick with one of the simplest files, which is Leg Pattern Wrap Full. You'll also need to grab the Solidify filter from Flaming Pear. This filter turns an image layer entirely opaque. It's especially useful when using multi-chan hacks because the side effect of the filter is zero padding on the bleed area. The first thing you'll need to do is install the filters. How do you install the filters? Quite simply. All you need to do is copy or drag the filter and files into the filters subfolder wherever Photoshop is installed. This is typically located at C Drive, Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, Plugins, Filters. The next time you start Photoshop, the plugins will be available in the filter menu. Now that we've covered some of the theory behind multi-chan hacks, as well as the system requirements and how to set it up, let's move on to seeing it in action in part two of this tutorial.